Hello friends, today we are going to read Noisy Crows. The author is Kanchan Banerjee. The illustrator is Deepa Balsavar and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Noisy Crows. So I'm sure you have heard crows making sounds and making a lot of noise. They're very noisy, right? Very loud. Have you heard the sound? So let's read more about these crows. I live in the mango tree. I eat lots of ripe fruit in summer. So crows live in trees. They build their nests in trees. And this one is a mango tree. When my babies are in the nest, I have to be on guard. So here in this picture, you can see the nest of the crow with the crow's babies in it. See, they're all making sound just like the mom crow. And when the babies are in the nest, the mother or father have to be on guard to make sure no other animals or bigger birds come to eat them. Come peep into my nest. See the lovely things I have found. So here in the nest, what do you see? You see all kinds of things. You see this pen, the button, a necklace. You see this, to this crow having a toothpick. And really crows are very much fond of shiny things, bright things, colorful things. And so if you leave something outside by mistake and the crow sees it, it might just come and steal it from you. Things like colorful things like pens and buttons and necklaces are very tempting to crows. I love to fly up in the sky like a plane. So we know that crows fly. Have you seen them fly? How high they go? They fly high up in the sky. I sit on the tree and look around for some tasty bits of food. In this picture, you can see this girl is eating peanuts and this crow is sitting here on the tree watching. Can I steal some peanuts? I look to my right. I look to my left. So crows usually like to eat food that people have left behind. They eat anything. And so they look here and there to see if somebody has left some food open. Things like fish or biscuits or something. If you leave out, the crow will come and eat. I love fish. When I spot it, I fly down to pick it up. And here you can see this is the market where this lady is selling fish. And here comes the crow. Quickly, it takes the fish from the basket and flies away. With my coin, I call my friends to share the feast with me. So the sound the crow makes is called a caw. It's called cawing. So when the crow is making those sounds, those loud cawing noises, the other crows, the crow's friends, hear him and they come to share the food that this crow has stolen. Some people shout at me, go away, you noisy bird. Here you can see this old man is shooing this crow away because it's making noise. 
Mr. Fox likes my singing. He told me so himself. So not everybody hates the crow sound and some people and some animals don't mind it. So here is the crow sitting happily eating its food. Let's read some more about the different sounds that different animals make. Let us learn some new words. The sound that each animal or bird makes has a special name. How many of these do you know? A crow calls. A cat mews. Have you heard a crow cawing? That's the sound that, that's the word for the sound that the crow makes. And mewing is the word for the sound that a cat makes. A lion roars. A dog barks. Crows make a lot of noise. So when some people talk loudly, we say, as noisy as a crow. So the lion roars, the dog barks. These are the other sounds that lions and dogs make. And crows are very, very loud. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. Try these questions. Write down what a crow looks and sounds like in your own words. What is your favorite animal or bird? Write down what it looks and sounds like.